2021 marks seven years since recreational marijuana became legal in Colorado. In the new year, the state is making big moves, looking into making marijuana delivery legal. We know how controversial weed is in general, and that's why we're going 360 on this new future. Here's Denver 7's Eric Lufer. And looking at what would marijuana 2.0 look like? Eric Escudero with the Denver Department of Excise and Licensing says marijuana delivery plays a big role. The city of Aurora already approved a marijuana delivery ordinance and Denver has come up with a plan for city council to consider. But let's stop right there because this idea clearly has people talking. You'll hear from a few as we go 360 on this. You'll get input from the marijuana industry group. You'll also get perspective from an Aurora entrepreneur already prepping for the pot delivery game. Down the road, we'll hear from a parent who isn't too fond of what's coming. And we'll also take a look at Facebook as people react to this on social media. First, Truman Bradley. The marijuana industry group is solidly in favor of delivery. Bradley says making this move was inevitable. You can get your pharmaceuticals delivered. You can get your groceries delivered. You can even get alcohol delivered. It's 2021, you know, even if there wasn't a pandemic, it just makes sense to have delivery. Entrepreneur Cliff Stokes saw the writing on the wall and is already preparing to hire marijuana transporters. When I think about cannabis and people using it in their homes, it only sounds right. Stokes already bought a fleet of cars for his transporters to use. When you think about the ability to get people's medicine to them in their homes on all aspects is a good thing, especially during times of COVID, during winter storms. My biggest issue is the ease of, um, you know, like a teenager being able to get their hands on it. This is parent Charles Sanchez. He says he knows too many families with kids who have substance abuse problems. Uh, if you, you know, create a situation where it's even easier to get your hands on something like marijuana, um, they're likely going to abuse it. The city of Denver says it's prepared for that. We're going to have strong protections in place if city council approves of this proposal. That includes ID scanners to make sure that there are no youth who are purchasing it. There's going to have to have receipts in a vehicle so we can make sure that someone who's transporting marijuana, it is for that purpose and nothing else. Another interesting concern comes from Facebook. Stephanie writing, I worry about the delivery people getting robbed for the product. If you talk to Cliff Stokes, he's even got a plan for that. His transporters will wear these body cameras. They're in contact with the real-time dispatcher. We have live cameras um, that are going to be in the vehicle at all times. And one sentiment seems clear. There will be a lot of reliance on how cities set the rules. There's a ton of tracking involved. You know, we feel really comfortable about the safety of it. And um, I just think it makes sense. The state has done a good job you know, throwing out guidelines for us to follow, uh, but it's it's our intent to exceed those guidelines. So um, for the most part, we're going above and beyond. I'm Eric Lufer, Denver 7. So what do you think? Should Colorado make marijuana delivery legal? You can send us an email with your thoughts to 360 at thedenverchannel.com.